Hey everybody, I was going to show you how I make my cold coffee to get to use for my coffee. So this I buy and then this is just a mason jar and this is almost two cups of water. So to two cups of water, I'm going to add two, two of these heaping teaspoons over to this. I'll show you. Let me get it in there. Okay, and then I'll put the lid on here. Let me, let me put the lid on it. Okay, and then I'm just gonna shake it up. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Now this is real strong, so I'm not gonna use all this at once. I keep this in my refrigerator, okay? And I just add it to my cold coffee, which I'll show you how in a minute. Now you might have to work with it to get it to your taste, but the more concentrated, the less you're gonna use of it. So just know that. Okay, let me get some ice. I like to use some of this. I have caramel too, but I like this one. God, I can't do nothing with one hand. Okay, here we go. I'll just drizzle some in there. Now I use my Fairlife milk just because I like the added protein. Here I am trying to get a lid off. I make mine and like I said you have to add your taste preference to your milk ratio and you can use whatever milk you want I have almond milk too that I use so anywho oh wait I can do one more thing you can get as fancy as you want y'all ignore my stove I just cooked cube steak to put in a crock pot but anyway there you go, folks. Now this here will store in your refrigerator. It don't last me a week, but I would store it a week if I had to. So, there you go. I just pre-make it so I don't have to do it all at once. I mean, not all at once, but you know I don't have to make it each time. I already have it. I can just pour it in. Okay, bye. Oh, and I was going to tell you, you can also add some um, of this. If it's not sweet enough or whatever, you can add your creamer of choice. Just don't make a mess like that, okay?